The Steph J Show. Thank you for tuning in to The Steph J Show on today. Follow and like us on Facebook. Follow and like us on Facebook. The address is The Steph J Show on SIBN Radio. That's right, Facebook.com forward slash The Steph J Show on SIBN SIBN Radio. Hey, it's your girl Steph J. Let's get it. The Steph J Show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have been waiting. Thank you so very much for joining us for the brand new, all new, all the way from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Stephanie, what's going down, girl? Not much, not much. Hey, man, we're so glad to have you on board. The, the new Steph J Show, talking about anything and everything. You know what I'm saying? We talk. Right. We call it infotainment, information and entertainment at the same time. You know what I mean? How you doing? I'm doing good. It's Monday morning, so you know, busy as usual. Yeah, every Monday, everybody, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My name is Marcus Hillette, and you've been listening to the sounds of Stephanie. Stephanie, introduce yourself to some people that act like they don't know. <laughs> well, for, for Wyatt, let me, um, Coach, let me just elaborate. My name is Stephania, not Stephanie, so I do want to correct that. But um, my name is Steph Gray, and I am a brand new author of a book called Married to PTSD. I also own a recruiting company called AS Recruiting, um, www.asrecruiting.com. I own a boutique called Impulse 911. Mm-hmm. I am a, um advocate of autism, and um, I'm an entrepreneur beyond other things. Yes, and uh, my apologies on that name because, first of all, That's all right. let, me, let me give you a compliment. That's a beautiful name. Say it for the audience one more time. Stephania. Stephania. Okay, all right. Stephania, yep. You got to say it with meaning. <laughs> yeah, Stephania. Okay. <laughs> hey, but uh, congratulations on the co-authoring of the book. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. It's called Married to PTSD, and uh, it came out this year, correct? Correct. January 2014. And uh, we know the and your co-author is who? Who is your co-author? Her name is Tierra Hedgepest. Shout out to Tierra as well. Um, but let's talk a little bit about that book because um, this is one of your causes, one of the things that you're fighting for people to understand, comprehend, and embrace uh, is the understanding of this PTSD. Let's talk. Let's tell everybody what PTSD is first of all. Uh, PTSD is post-traumatic stress. I mean, sorry, post-traumatic. Oh, God. Post-traumatic stress syndrome mm-hmm. disorder. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, you can get it from any traumatic event, prison, war, uh, death. Right. And in past, we have only heard it uh, in reference to military families, as you so uh, have, have educated me, even that this is not limited to military families, right? Correct. It's not. Right, a lot of and people. that's post-traumatic stress disorder. I apologize. I've been saying it so much lately, I forgot what it meant. Yeah, that's okay. Um, but this book is uh, written, as you have shared with me, off-air in story form. Four major stories, all different stories. Talk a little bit about particularly one of the stories that perhaps people might relate to. Um, one of the stories that people probably can relate to is a, a story in a book with uh, Andrea and Michael. Just give you a little bit on it. I don't want to give you too much. Andrea, Michael has PTSD, and Andrea felt like Michael was not in love with her anymore. She felt like he was not there, so Andrea stepped outside of the marriage a little bit. So that's pretty much all I'm going to give you on that one, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. about a book to read the rest. And that also leads to two of the questions that we're focusing on for today, which is question number one, while you're busy taking care of your significant other who has PTSD, who's taking care of you? We're going to talk about that in a minute. But this question number two is, did you find yourself dealing with things in your marriage, uh, infidelity, abuse, as you were just alluding alluding to the story that uh, you normally wouldn't deal with? So this PTSD, it sounds like, too, it's it's uh, part of uh, perhaps a denial process. You know, ain't nothing wrong with me type type situation. You know what I mean? Right. For a lot of them do feel like they're, you know, like there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, yeah. And so, tell everybody where the book is available and uh, 
of course, by, by all means, how to connect with you for this book, and then uh, we'll move on uh, with the show here. Okay. The book is available on Amazon.com. Just search Married to PTSD. It's also available on Kindle. It's also available on your local bookstores and your local libraries coming next month. That's what's up. And then you're working on another book. Shall we tell them the name now? Or shall we hold it as a yeah. top secret? <laughs> well, we should go ahead and tell them. The name is um, a, hus- a Hustling Spirit. And this book is pretty much uh, my biography on um, why and how I hustle. Because that's what I do. Yes, 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 yes. And tell them. Now, some people uh, have a street hustle. But then some people have a street and a corporate hustle. I mean, I'm just, you know, surmising. Right. Uh, can you Correct. break down the difference between the two and why you got both of them going on for you? <laughs> um, the difference between a street hustle and a corporate hustle, in my opinion, would be a corporate hustle would be where you hustling, you know, different jobs. Like you, you work for corporations, you work for businesses, and you're kind of um, hustling to get to the top. Mm-hmm. A street hustle, in my opinion, would be you self, you you are employed, you are your employer, mm-hmm. you are, you know. You're doing whatever and however to get money. On my end, it's legally. And there's a, you know, a legal version of hustle as well where people get confused. A lot of older people, when you say hustle, they're like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. But that's not my hustle. Right. So I did want to clarify the hustle. You know, hustle needs to mean a whole bunch of different things. And it does not necessarily have to mean that it is illegal because everything that I do is very much legal. Yeah. yeah. That means Steph J gets up and get at it. You know what I mean? Fabulous, right. fabulous mother, awesome friend, because you got everybody and your mom trying to call you and ask you for advice because they like how you succeed and how you grind. You know what I mean? Let's break this right. thing down for y'all that act like y'all don't know. Y'all know what we're talking about. They, oh, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the, one of the things that we want to say about that book that's coming out, what would be one thing you would leave with those people who say, man, I just can't seem to get my dream going? Right before commercial break, give them one one thing. <laughs> what one thing that what I'm sorry to hear you. No, I was saying give them one thing out of your new book that's getting ready to come out for somebody who might be saying, "Man, I just can't seem to get my dream going." Man, I can't, I can't seem to get going. Steph, what do I do? You you gotta find that self motivation. You gotta find something that actually um, inspires you to want to do better, want to be better. And once you find that that self-motivation or that inspiration I think that um, all things are possible you just got to keep yourself focused and, and um, around people who are doing the same thing that you're doing because it's easy to get sidetracked when you're dealing with people who are not on the same level as you so I think you definitely have to surround yourself with positive people who are moving in the same direction as you and consistently keep networking that's key right there networking is key and social media is key as well mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah man we're going to talk about social media because you told me some things off air that I need you to discuss with the audience about folks having all these crazy emails but just save it hold it <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't 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 hey you guys we're gonna go to break real quick you're listening to the new Steph J show right here on SIBN radio stand by Steph the Steph J show like and follow us on Facebook the Steph J show on SIBN radio facebook.com forward slash the Steph J show on SIBN radio we'll be right back after these messages Now is the time. Now is the to time. Have your radio show on SIBN Radio. You're ready to share your You're message ready to share your with message. the world. Then call 404 910 That's right. Call 404 910 Producing your radio show on SIBN Radio. For more information, dial 404 910 That's right. Now is the time. Now is the We're back here, Stephanie, Stephania, Stephania. We're gonna have to practice that. We're gonna have to <laughs> practice, practice that. Practice. Yes, right. yes, because it's unique and it's 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 not a popular name. You know what I'm saying? So thank it's you not. for the correction. I still receive more correction. I'm gonna need a correction in advance. Can I get some correction on That's credit? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can get it on credit. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we, we're talking about you being a great author, fantastic mom. Uh, I know you want everybody to know that. Listen. 
Autism in Georgia, just as a side note, autism in Georgia is being raised to the consciousness of state legislatures at the Georgia Capitol. Mothers have stepped out, Steph, and they have made their voices heard. Do you want to speak uh, on the airwaves to anybody out there that might be dealing with an autistic child? Yes, definitely. You are not alone. Um, I notice a lot within the, I'm just going to say this, my opinion in the black community, that we don't want to diagnose our children with um, disorders because we feel like God can handle everything, which I agree to that as well. But also, if your child is struggling with anything, please give them the help necessary to move forward because it's a struggle within them, it's going to be a struggle with you. I think that if you feel like your child is not acting as such, um, they should be acting for their age to definitely reach out to a doctor or a therapist or somebody because I notice a lot of people that come to me, they're like, you know, my son has signs of such and such, such and such, but, you know, my parents told me or my friend told me there's nothing wrong with him. If I want to listen to people around me, my son would not be getting the help that he's getting right now. Mm -hmm. And he is progressing every day. So wow. definitely do not, do not listen to people around you. Do your own research. Um, look things up for yourself. Yeah, you heard it right here on the Step J Show. Get your child properly, properly diagnosed, <laughs> okay? Don't just go by, you know, Philadelphia lawyers uh, that just, you know, talk off the side of their mouth. And let's talk a little bit about um, uh, the workforce. Uh, the stats are starting to show that the economy is improving. Uh, and a lot of you guys that are listening know that uh, Steph, uh, you know, Steph J, she's a, she's a grinder now. Uh, but a lot of you may be surprised one of the ways she grinds is she connects, uh, she helps employers find necessary qualified folks for positions throughout the U.S. Steph, talk a little bit about that and what are some of the hindrances to people getting gainful employment? Um, well, one, let me just, um, I guess let everybody know, I, I work for the employer, not the candidates. People get confused. They inbox me saying, hey, can you find me a job here? Can you find me a job there? That is not what I do. I work for the employer. They give me a job test. I go find a person, the, the right candidate for them. So if you come to me and say, can you find me a job in a certain area, I probably can guide you to some sites that are apply, I mean, are hiring, but I can't find you a job in a certain area unless you, you're you already on my, um, you qualify to something that I already have open. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. And you said it's for the Henderson? Yeah, what are, so in your work for uh, that, you, uh, that you're doing for the employers, around the U.S., what are some of the job, uh, the things that block people from getting gainful employment? Because we're seeing the stats showing that the economy is rebounding. It's not as robust, you know, as, as we would like for it to be, but mm -hmm. but I know that you're seeing positions out there. Talk a little bit about what may block or what may not be blocking people from getting gainful employment. One thing that's um, it's like the number one trending thing that's blocking people is availability. When the employer wants them to interview, whether it's on the phone or whether it's face-to-face, -face, these people are not available because they do not have access to their email on a consistent basis, meaning they don't have it on their phone and they don't get updates immediately, or they're not answering their phone calls, so it's going to voicemail, the voicemail box is not set up. If anybody's like me, I don't check my voicemail. So there's a lot of people out there who don't check their voicemails either. So by the time um, the interview date comes up, this person has missed this interview because they was not available via email or phone to the point is moving on. They don't have time to wait for you, you know, mm -hmm. to answer your phone or to respond to your email. They're moving on to the next person because just like you were, you were, um, you fit the job description. There's a hundred other people out there that fit the job description as well. Wow, that's um, that's good right there. Go ahead. Another thing is email. People's email addresses. <laughs> this mm -hmm. is one thing that's mind-boggling. I just can't get past that people's email addresses are not appropriate for applying for a job. You know, your email address should be your first and last name or your last name by itself. Mm -hmm. It should not be Freaky Friday, Luscious. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say, what did you say? Freaky what? Freaky Friday, Freaky Friday, yes. I've had people who are very much so qualified. I had a guy with four doctors, a PhDs, and his email address was smoke1something at gmail.com. Wow. I don't want to hire nobody with an email like that. Wow, Steph, I don't know. Wait a minute, dude. That's a lot right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yes. I mean, are you serious, though? I'm dead serious. That will make or break you. Just your email alone. Wow. So, I mean, to all the college students, go ahead on and, 
and give the message out because some of these, uh, you know, some of the shows are going to be listened to by mothers who say, you know what, I better let Johnny know you need to change that email. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely when, when applying to job positions, please have your email from the professional, preferably your first and last name or just your last name. Um, mm. Preferably a Gmail account as well. I mean, everybody uses Yahoo still too, but I recommend going with the Gmail account over the Yahoo um, any day. Right, a lot right. of Yahoo goes to spam, and people don't don't realize that. No, you're absolutely right because I have a Yahoo, and it, it and it, if, if it's not somebody that normally comes through. Uh, it does go to right. spam for sure. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it sounds like to me um, that email address is, is big. You, you you make it sound like it's a big issue. It is, it is a big issue. <laughs> what? It's a very big issue. Yes, email. <laughs> hey, Rob. Well, one more thing. Rob Campbell uh, uh, chiming in on social media. He says, good point in those email addresses. I didn't realize this was a big deal, Steph. Yeah, it is. It, it is. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Rob and shout out to uh, that that boy loss, loss a loss. <laughs> hey, Rob. <laughs> yeah, so what you were going to say now? Also, resume format. A lot of people send resumes and they don't have their contact information on their resumes. And that's another big thing, too. They just have their resume laid out mm -hmm. with their name, but not no way to contact you. Are you so a lot of times when you apply for a job, yes, when you apply for a job on the job board, this job um, goes to the HR. And the HR don't get all your contact information from that job board. They just get your resume. Mm. So they don't know who to contact. So you got to have your contact information on your resume. Wow. Wow. Make sure your phone numbers are updated as well. A lot of times you do your resume 2005. It's 2014. You ain't changed your number. All you did was change your job experience or whatever. But you didn't update your phone number or your email. You got to keep your resume updated. Wow. And what about that voicemail on the phone number? Hey, this is Snooky and them. Y'all know what the hell to do. <laughs> Another one, too. The voicemail. Cool. Be professional. You know you're looking for a job. Change your voicemail. Answer your voicemail. Check your voicemail. <laughs> hey, y'all listen to somebody like <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point, though. But what about social media? You know, one of the things that I've been hearing is that employers are checking Facebook. Maybe we should talk about that when we come back from the break. What do you think? Yeah, let's talk about that after the break. All right, you guys, you're listening to the Steph J Show right here on SIBN Radio. We'll be right back after the break. Improvement Station, changing the way we live. SIBN FM. To SIBN Radio. Attention all artists, artists of all genres. Now you can be featured on Gas Global Artist Showcase on the CATL Show, airing now on SIBN Radio. That's right, all artists now on genres, wholesome and positive, please, can be featured on Gas Global Artist Showcase. Global Artist Showcase on the CATL Show, now airing on SIBN Radio. For more information, dial 404 91 0509. That's 404 910 Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Or email us at global coverage at selectusatv.info. All right, you guys, we're back here at the Steph J Show live and on demand. Thank you so much for joining us. We were talking about social media post. Companies are now looking at that. Steph, what you say? Yes. Whenever I'm giving a job order, 
one of the requirements is to find out if it has a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Mm -hmm. with, that, with that being said, the employer wants to look for the name mm -hmm. as well as the profile picture and maybe the last two statuses. Mm -hmm. That right there can make or break you too. If your page is private, they go for the pictures and the, the names. But if your page is not private and you are applying for a job, make your page private because they are looking at your status and they do not want to hire somebody who has consistent drama or who, who is um, disrespectful, mm. who is not branding themselves or possibly could be a brand for their company. So mm. definitely be cautious of what you put on your Facebook page. I know everybody's in and you never got to get things out here and there. But you have a consistent habit of uh, slandering people, being disrespectful, constant drama on your Facebook page, and you are looking for a job, they will look at that. And I'm talking about as, um, as small as McDonald's. I'm not saying that McDonald's are small, but all the way down to McDonald's, they are looking for certain things uh, within their, their candidates. Mm -hmm. And Facebook is a big one. That can, make, that can actually get you fired. You can get fired for posting things on Facebook. I've seen people who got fired off of Facebook because they call out of work and then they're on Facebook saying they're at, you know, cheddar's eating, mm -hmm. something of that nature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So be cautious of what you put on your Facebook, especially when you're looking for a job. And if you already have a job with a established company, just be cautious of what you put on Facebook. Wow, Steph. That's you so let's just just do a recap. If you just tuned in to the Steph J show, you'd be like, Okay, is they hiring Look, before you get all, you know, jimmied up, excited, you know what I'm saying? First of all, Steph J does not find those that are listening jobs. What she does is she works for the employer. She has her own thing going on where she gets highly qualified applicants for job positions that employers contract with Steph J to find these em these employees so don't call her for that but you can tune into this show at any time to educate yourself and upgrade yourself regarding on how to be job ready right Steph and how to keep a job correct correct right that's 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 some good information right there and listen uh let's uh give them do you have your thought for the day because uh we want y'all to know that steph j is not only turned up she always turned up y'all just you can catch her turned up any time of the day but also she <laughs> wants you to be motivated you know and that's what you was talking about at the beginning of the show this show is going to have a variety we may have some people on here that we interview we may have some music it's whatever steph feel like you know what i'm saying so she feel like music that that show is going to be some music you see what i'm saying if she feel like she want to have some spoken artists or whatever whatever it's going to be that if she want to talk about a problem or a cause or a campaign, it's whatever Steph J want. But today, we also want to share with you a motivational thought. So what's your thought for today, uh, Steph? Uh, before I give a thought, one second, I do want to give out the top 10 companies that right now that are hiring real quick for anybody out there looking for a job, want to get back into the employment field. Napa, Firestone, Petco, AT&T, True Green, CVS, United Health Group. Verizon Wireless, I used to work for them, great company, RBS, Citizens, and Chipotle. These are the top 10 hiring companies right now in the United States. So definitely, if you're looking for a job, you're having trouble finding a job, connect with one of those companies. As far as the motivational for the day, um, I would like to say, if you want to achieve greatness, stop asking for permission. You don't have to ask nobody for permission to excel in life. That mm. is internal, and it's up to you. You have to want better. You have to know better to do better. And like I said before, you have to surround yourself around people who are grinding, who are successful. Or that's not, but, you know, some people are just housewives, and that's what they're you know destined to be. That's fine. But you need to be positive. You have to find positive people to be around. So if you feel like you're in a nutshell, or you're um, the people you're around is constantly negative, you need to go ahead and x them out and move forward. You heard it first right here on the Steph J Show. Stop playing with it. You know what I mean? You mean to tell me people are asking permission? You know what I mean? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, I, I used to always say, Steph, that folk got to start using common sense, but I don't know. They, you know, I don't know, Steph. A lot of people want, a lot of people want for validation in other people uh, for their life. Right. And right. I've never been around of, you know, nobody can validate me. I validate myself. But because oh, everybody's different. So if you are that person who constantly needs validation from somebody else, do not look for validation from somebody else look within yourself and you'll find it do whatever you have to do to connect with yourself to find yourself again but getting validation from somebody else will always fail you will always fail you 
That's good. Hey, when we come back from the break, we'll have a final word from Steph, Jay, as well as some contact information for those of you that want to connect with her. And maybe we'll have a hot question from some of our listening audience. We'll be right back after this. PW. That's right. The Select USA TV Collabo Media Groups and Partners Worldwide for a limited time has opened up its membership to the general public. Now you can collaborate worldwide with media conglomerate SIBN Television and Radio. If you want to join free of charge for this. Aspire to inspire with the Steph J Show on SIBN Radio, where we share a variety of topics for the transitions the in, our transition lives. in our That's lives. That's right, the two time right. author, entrepreneur, and fashionista. Stephanie is sure to make your day. Tune in. Now let's go right into the studio with the Steph J Show on SIBN Radio. Yes, and we're back here to, for the closing word. We're going to have to redo some of our commercials because we got that name wrong. But, you know, that's what it's all, all about, too. Professionalism also can stand correction. Steph, can I get some help right there? <laughs> you know, a lot of people <laughs> right, don't want right. to be corrected, and that's one of the reasons why they don't move up you know, on, the job, uh, on the job postings as well because they're stuck at one job because they never change their attitude and their altitude stays the same, you know? That is absolutely correct. Yep, so give them some contact information. Let's start with Facebook. Well, I'll give them the Facebook. If you guys want to weigh in, go to facebook.com forward slash the Steph J Show on SIBN Radio. But go ahead and give them the, uh, your, your personal Facebook or Twitter and Instagram right there. My, my personal Facebook is facebook.com slash Stephania, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-A, Robert, R-O-B-E-R-T-S. My Twitter is uh, twitter.com slash Steph. Jade, J-A-D-E, and my Instagram is Instagram.com slash Steph underscore J-J-A-E 365. All, right. all day, every day. All right, 365, uh, what did they say, 24, 365, 24, uh, 24-7, 365. Anybody out there remember when we used to say that? We used to say that, like, regularly, like, what? All the time. You don't step yep. to me. It's, I'm 24-7, 365. <laughs> Seven days a week, 52 weeks in a year. Okay. <laughs> you know what? But, hey, we are excited about the show. If you guys have some show ideas, if you want to appear on the show, by all means, let Steph J know right there on the Facebook fan page. And hey, we're going to hopefully get a, a couple of people in to be able to call in on some of the shows as we move forward. But, hey, you know, show the love. You know, let her know congratulations on a new show. And uh, it's going to be a lot of great things. I can't wait till we come down to Jacksonville, North Carolina, set up a live show so all y'all down there in that area can attend. And y'all can say y'all were right there uh, as we film. Because when we usually do a live show, uh, Steph, we film as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you'll have that in the future. But, hey, it's been good. I told you it wasn't that bad, right? Once yep. again, tell me where to connect to get this book. We want, we want y'all to show support for this book. Please. Amazon. Yep. Amazon.com right now. Kindle. You can get it on Kindle. And like I said, your local bookstores um, and all your public libraries coming next month. I do want to say before we end that good things come to people who wait. That's boom. Uh, better things come to those who go out and get it. Whether it's a man, baby, you better go get him. If it's a job, you better go out there and get it. If it's a new car, you better go get it. That's what Take you around for something that's never going to happen. So you got to go out there and get it. Whatever it may be. That's it. You know, y'all heard. I told you. I, look, look. She is turned up, and it's on a Monday. This is on a Monday, okay? So you know she got to be bad to the bone if she coming out with her show on a Monday. On a Monday. You better believe it. You better believe it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Whatever you do, follow suit, man. Connect with her on tw Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And until next time, Steph, what's the word? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the word is right now. The, the word is turn up. If you marry oh, PTSD, yeah, get the book so that you can find some solutions, man. Steph, you hold on, on hold on the uh, line. We'll be right back, you guys.